back that thing up, back that thing up, back that thing up. Reverse it. Hey, Pinnacle Studio peeps. How y'all doing out there? My name is Malik, and I'm back on your screen with more Pinnacle Studio love from PinnacleStudioPro.com. Today, I'm going to be bringing you a tutorial on the reverse effect. So, let's jump off into Pinnacle Studio 20 Ultimate and make it happen. Here we are in Pinnacle Studio 20 Ultimate, and it's time for us to back that thing up and reverse it. As you can see, I have two video clips in my timeline. These are two clips of the same exact thing. So if I play this from here, I'm just going to press my space bar. Then you'll see this girl running, doing her thing. And then when it gets to the next clip, it's just going to start over with the girl running again. So what I want to do is have the clip of the girl running and then have the clip of the girl running backwards. And I wanted to start off from the point where this one ends. So in order to do that, I need to reverse this clip to have it play from the end to the beginning. So what I want to do is left click on this clip to activate it. Then I'm going to right click on the clip. I'm going to go to speed. Add. So once I do that, this lovely window pops up. So the first thing I want to do is change this from constant to stretch. The reason why I want to change it to stretch is because it's going to lock in the first and the last frame. So if I want to change the speed of the reverse effect, then all I need to do is stretch the clip out or add to the duration of the clip or bring the clip in or make the duration of the clip less time. So putting it on stretch allows me some flexibility after I add the reverse effect to it to speed it up or slow it down easily on a timeline. So next I'm going to go down to the video section. And in the video section, I'm going to select reverse. This is going to reverse the clip. And then I'm going to also select smooth motion because I want it to be buttery smooth. And then in the audio section, I'm going to leave whole pitch selected, even though there's no audio in this clip. But if there was audio in the clip and you want the pitch to stay the same, leave this selected. If you want the pitch to go ahead and change with the uh, reversing of the clip, then you can uncheck it. Now that all that's done, I'm going to click on OK. And now you see this line here. It's a yellow line above or at the top of the clip. That means that we've applied a speed effect to it. So now if I move my playhead to a position on the first clip and then I press my space key to play it, you'll see that it'll play forward and it'll play in reverse. Now, right now, it's a little choppy because of the preview, but once you go ahead and export this, it'll be smooth and the reverse effect will look great. Now, as I was alluding to before, if I want to have the reverse motion to be slower, then I can place my cursor at the end of this clip until I see a line and an arrow, hold down my left mouse, and now I can stretch this out. And what this is doing is it's making the duration longer, which is making it go slower. So now, if I go ahead and play this again and I hit the space bar, it's going to play forward, then it'll play in reverse, but now it's going to be slower than it was before. And of course, it's a lot choppier too, because I sped it up and I think my timeline is 24 and this clip is 24, so there's going to be some missing frames with this. I would recommend that you do like a higher frame rate if you're going to change the speed. But also, I can go ahead and make this smaller, which is going to speed it up. So it'll still be the same start and end point. It's just going to play faster. So let's go ahead and play this, and it'll play forward. 
and then reverse, and it'll play faster in reverse than it was before. And that's all you need to know about reverse. So if you didn't know how to reverse clips, now you know how, and you also know how to speed up or slow down clips when you reverse them. You're welcome. All right, Pinnacle Studio peeps, I wanna thank you so much for watching this video all the way through to the end. It truly means the world to me. Now, I wanna send a quick shout out to one of my subscribers, Gaming Sports Freak. Gaming Sports Freaks make YouTube videos on gameplay and anything sports related. So, if you wanna watch some gameplay or some sports related videos, head on over to his channel, check out a couple of his videos, and if you're feeling what he's dealing, make sure that you subscribe. If you want to get a shout out like Gaming Sports Freaks did, make sure that you go to the video description and fill out our shout out request form. And if you want to make a tutorial request, head over to the video description and fill out our tutorial request form. Now, there's a few things I need you to do for me. The thumb. The one that's pointed in the upward direction, click on it. It lets people know that the content in this video is good and that they should watch it too. If you got any comments, questions, you just want to chop it up, leave those things in the comment section below. And last but not least, smash the subscribe button and then click on the bell. When you do that, you receive notifications every time I upload content to YouTube, and that way you don't miss out on any of the learning and all of the fun. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again soon.